the hell of the Russian army Bakhmut. Prigozhin finally confessed. The capture of Bakhmut, where the Russian Federation is suffering catastrophic losses, is a strategic dead end, says Igor Strelko. Tens of thousands of mercenaries and military personnel who were killed by the Russian Federation in the assaults of Bakhmut are senseless victims. The complete capture of the city will not improve the situation of the Russian army in any way. Such a statement was made on the air of his YouTube channel on April 22 by the saboteur of the FSB of the Russian Federation, war criminal Igor Strelko, reports Dialogue UA. He drew attention to the fact that even Yevgeny Prigozhin, whose PMC Wagner was literally destroyed in the battles for this city, spoke about the senselessness of the assault on Bakhmut. Finally, the owner of the Wagner PMCS, Mr. Prigozhin, said that Bakhmut and his final capture had no strategic significance. Maybe because in Bakhmut, the Wagner PMC actually lost all its infantry. There, instead of Wagner, units of Donetsk, Mobix, volunteers, and the armed forces of the Russian Federation are already fighting with his surviving units. In general, Wagner needs to be withdrawn to the rear and completely reorganized before he can conduct offensive battles again. Prigozhin repeated exactly what I said in the winter and autumn of last year, when the offensive on Bakhmut and Soledar began. For which, by the way, I was hit by a torrent of criticism, including obscene, from the same Prigozhin, said the offended Russian saboteur. He assured that the capture of the entire city would not change the deplorable situation of the Russian army at the front. And it was known initially.